a year ago, Flickr was uh, maybe three or 400,000 users, and now it's over 4 million. And everything changes as, as things scale up. It used to be that if you were interested in macro photography, so photography of insects and details of flowers and you know, little things, um, there'd be a you know, tight-knit community of a couple hundred other macro photography enthusiasts. Now it's so big that there's tens of thousands of them. And building features, uh, enhancing the groups, functionality and, and things like that to really make it work for that scale of users, both on the technical back-end database search system side and in the user experience and um, how the group level things happen is, is a big part of what we're working on. Innovation is, uh, is a lot like making music. So there's, a, there's the physics of the universe that you have to deal with. So there's only so many actual frequencies and you can produce and so many harmonics and stuff like that. And there's kind of a fixed set of instruments so that you can always invent new instruments. And there's definitely a canon of music that people are familiar with and understand. But the way you recombine um, chord progressions or melodies or harmonies, rhythms and things like that, and put them together in new ways is really endless. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever do something that has the you know, the dramatic growth and popularity of Flickr, but I don't doubt that I'll be able to continue making cool new stuff that hasn't existed before. Because it's just, it's just the way it is. I mean, it's easy to do and very natural.